Okay, this is Black Free Education TV, where we're stepping back from the brink towards a more meaningful future. What our theme verse being, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So if your ancestors were scattered via the transatlantic slave trade or the Mohammedan Arabic Islamic slave trade, then you are the children of Almighty. So Nini Nani Samandla, the mighty one of Abraham, Isaka, and Jacobi. Oh yes, black history. The study of the Bible is black history. And so you're welcome tonight. Welcome to the show. Welcome, share the link to everyone. Let somebody know tonight that you are connected to the show. We give him all the praise, we give him all the glory, we give him all the honor because he is to all the praise and all the honor. Oh yes, share the link and text a friend. And after the show, make sure you follow us on all the channels. It is on Telegram Live, it is YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and the recording is uploaded on Bantu. You are welcome tonight to the show. All praises to Almighty. So Nini Nanini Samanda. We give him all the praise and all the glory. Waking up the bantu from sea to sea.
Okay, greetings tonight once more in the precious name of our Father, Almighty Sunini Nanini Samandla. He is the mighty one of Abraham, the mighty one of Issachar, and the mighty one of Hakobi. We thank him tonight for his goodness. We thank him for his steadfast love that never ceases, his mercies that never comes to an end. And so tonight, once more, welcome to those who are joining in um, Facebook, 
three Facebook channels. Um, joining from Black Free Education TV, UK Band to Exodus, Caribbean Band to Productions, our brothers in the um, Eastern Cape and in Portugal. Welcome as we join as well on Telegram. I think on Telegram for now is going to be the audio, but the video is coming very soon. We give all the praise and all the thanks to our Father. Once more, it's the new series. Africa is the Holy Land. And if you th thought you saw something last night, tonight is going to be better. Hallelujah. So we have the scribe group with us once more, headed by Brother Nathaniel and um, all the other members, Sister Empress, Brother Majumbi, Brother Greg, our brother in South Africa. But um, all of them will not be joining. But the information presented is a group presentation showing the world for the first time what Sunini has revealed to us. Japheth, son of Noah, E1B1A, same DNA with Sub-Saharan, enlarged in the earth. Tonight we look at his marker, how we know it's Japheth, and why the nations wanted him. They wanted him to be their father because they knew that at some point we're going to realize what has happened and what they have done. They wanted Japheth to be their father because he has been in the lands that they occupy now and he has left his marker there. Marker that is so profound that no one will be able to question it. Hallelujah. I was listening to a video today and the guy was almost saying it, but he could not make the connection. But what he noted is that the pyramids are the same all around. Japheth's marker. It's all around the same thing. Tonight we're going to see that. I want to welcome Brother Nathaniel here tonight once more as we um, continue to present the pyramids of Japheth around the world, part two. This is Japheth, son of Noah. Yes, we give all the praise and all the thanks to Almighty Sunini Nani. Hallelujah. And so welcome, uh, Brother Nathaniel. Welcome to the show once more. Hey, Ed, can you hear me? Very clearly, very clearly, very clearly. All right. So um, last night was introduction, and tonight we're going to take it a little deeper. Yes. Yeah. A better understanding of, um, you know, what, who and who Japheth is, and what is the mark of Japheth around this world. Sitting in plain sight, sitting in plain sight, hidden by Europeans, they knew, they always knew this story, but they hid it. And every time we think that, um, okay, we have uncovered all the lies now, let's just cruise. No, you can't. Every single thing that you think you knew and that was recorded in books by Europeans is a lie. It is a lie. See, why is it that they never wanted us to know the truth? Because when we know the truth, we'll be sitting right up in the front seat, in the front pew, and there'll be no space for the liars. It's happening. It's still happening. Hallelujah. Okay, brother. Let, let's 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 um, do a little refresher. Um, if I can just share again the, um, the 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 slides, and if you just yes run back very quickly from the top as we come down to this wonderful, glorious piece as we continue to reveal the word of Sunini Nani. Hallelujah. Okay, so here we are. We are looking at everybody that represents Japheth, every child of Japheth, sitting in plain sight in front of us, not just the ones on the continent, but the ones that have been enlarged in the earth. You want to tell us again from the top there, top left? Yes, there uh, in the top left, we have an an Inuit man from Alaska, Eskimo, Eskimo man. 
from Alaska there. <clears throat> that would be in the Thanks, North Jeff America. In Alaska. Yes, Jeff in Alaska. Alaska. Yes. And then um, moving down to uh, North America, we have uh, Black Heart here, Native in Native American, not Native Indian, Native American. Oh, because uh, North America. Feather. Right. Because he's <laughs> they call him an Indian. Columbus decided he was an Indian. You know, right. And Amerigo Vespucci probably did the same. Yes, wow. yes. And then we have the Olmec head from uh, South America. Yep. There. This, now, I mean, mm -hmm. Negroid features. Very strong. I like the nose and the lips. They kind of look like mine. Yes. Is this the one that resembles um, what am I, isn't it? What am I? Yeah. 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 You wonder why he travels all the time, right? Yeah. 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 It's in him. Wow. Yeah. So, and, and, and we know through, um, you said you had the book, um, they came before Columbus, right? Columbus, yeah. But, um, and the man is from my country, you know, Dr. Ivan Van Sortiman. He's from my country. And um, he had another book that uh, was interesting to me was Nile Valley civilization so i was doing a little bit of peeping around today so i went to aswan and um in, in the in the continent there i'm just pulling that book out here yeah they came before columbus right yes and, and so ahead. it's it's recorded right that um our, especially our people there in west africa they they travel they had ships. They took the sea and and landed um, over here in uh, South America, and so that's why you find these Omec heads there. Um, I mean, the the heads of your uh, your is uh, is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the the pictures the artifacts you know just more proof of that of, of him being enlarged in the earth of course of course i was just looking for the book but i can't see it in my library i can't see it in my library there they came before columbus interesting yeah, yeah and, and it's so it's, it's so I mean, it's just amazing that you know they they always call it discovery, right? They discovered, yeah. <laughs> but we <I'm> but <laughs> it's Go a ahead. discovery for them. Yeah, yeah. When it got there, and they saw evidence that black is the same behavior Columbus did. Saw black people were there before they got there. Whoever they found there, and were telling them. The no, you're not for us here. There's some people that we met here. They came before us. They said, let's kill you so you can't talk that story. And so they murdered those people that they found on the land. Like Columbus, they give them blankets with smallpox and they poison them out and kill them out. But this is a seed of Japheth that is enlarged in the earth. Wow. Yes, yes. And uh, um, and then we have the, the Incas, uh, but a, a picture I don't have here is the, the Mayans, but you know, they are, the, they are the same family. Yeah, yeah. And everything. And then um, we have uh, the Sudanese, the third picture down at the bottom <laughs> from the left. The children of Babylon. Uh, Sudan. Yeah, well, before yes. it was Sudan, it was Babylon. This was the land of Kush. Babylon, correct. Yeah, the land of Cush, yes. which is a uh, son of son of Japhet, which is Nimrod's father, is Cush. You see, yeah. And then we find okay. uh, Japhet there in the next picture in Europe. Okay. With the that, with the Ethiopian features. <laughs> yeah, the the two that pit, uh, picture and the la the other one, they they look alike. Yeah. Wow. Yes, and the oh, far, uh, the far right, and then the far right, we have the the two pictures there, the the lady there, and Ethiopian man. They're both Ethiopian. Yeah, and the features are very dis very distinct. Yes, I, I like this one at the end, bottom right. 
he looks just like um, the picture with um, Jaffet in Europe here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Same head shape, same uh, hairstyle with the afro. And the skull features, well, if you see the pressed down kind of skull features that is there. Yeah, and the nose, right? The nose, the forehead, the, the, the slim, slim down cheeks, and the broad top of the head. Yes. Wow. And this is the same man up there, the, the, the Eskimo. You see? He's the same version of that same man there. They all make yes. it slightly different, but that Eskimo and this um, Ethiopian is the same. Okay. Well, yeah, you're fit. And then we have uh, right above the Ethiopian, we have uh, the Aboriginals from Australia. Australia. Okay, this one here. Okay. And then above that, we have uh, the uh, China. Okay. So the black people in China, before yes. the Chinese became Chinese, the black people were there before them. Wow. Correct. Correct. Now, Elder, now uh, I, I, I just noticed, you know, the, uh, here, the, the Egyptian man here with the headdress? Yeah. To the left. He, he, he looks like Michael Jackson when he was yeah. younger. <laughs> yeah. You see the, you see the resemblance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's before, there. before, before Michael Jackson before went through Jackson. those changes, right? Mm -hmm. The young version of Michael Jackson. The young version. Of, <laughs> the DNA don't not lie. But but you know you know what these people have done, and this is when I talk about the subplot. You see you see the same image we're talking about here. That look like Michael Jackson, yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice the eye, because the eye is one side of the face is being taken. They magnify this eye so big and make so much out of the eye that we lost track of the face. We only see yeah. the eye. This is what Europe has been doing. They magnified that minor so that you miss the major. Yes. And that's why we got stuck up here. So when we said that um, Jaffet was on the continent and that Jaffet and Shem are brothers um, and that they are both black and white, the Jasper Jaffet, and the sardine stone, according to Revelation, Shem. People were saying, oh no, they're taking it too far. They're stretching it now. But look what has turned out here in time. So then he waited for the opportunity when we are ready for this and then present us, here is um, um, great uncle Japheth. He is sharing your DNA. Because I always um, remember the conversation on um, Ramses III, right? They're saying, Ramses III got sub-Saharan DNA. Who is he? Is he Joseph? Is he that? He has got the same DNA with every other child of Noah because Japhet is Noah's son and Noah and his children can only produce black and brown people. They cannot produce white people. So when Europe took Shem and Japhet off the continent and stuck harm on the continent and moved Japheth and Shem to become Europe and Ar um, Arabs, right? They mm -hmm. knew that this day was coming when Sunini will reveal. He was watching at them and laughing at them. And when they opened the DNA book, what did they see? All black and brown people originated from Noah. And the others don't. Yes. Yeah. Sad. They said that they lied about it. They could have they could have opted for what is written in the book of Romans being grafted in as a wild olive branch. But now they want it to boast itself against the root of the natural olive tree. Anyhow, let's go in. Okay. So the, uh, you, the prophecy, right? Concerning yeah. your fed and, and uh, Shem. Here, uh, well, it says here in verse 17, and Nama conceived and bare son, and he called his name Yafet, saying, Sonina has enlarged me in the earth. And she conceived so again. Means, okay. And she, and, by, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, piece by piece. So Japheth means to be enlarged in the earth. Yes. But we miss that, isn't it? We were reading. 
But then Japheth, this name, like the Bantu people, the name have the meaning. Sonini has enlarged me in the earth. That's the one that's going to go all over the earth and leave his mark of enlargement that I've been here. My name is Japheth. I've been here. Yes. <laughs> this, exactly. is, this is my mark. This is the evidence of me. Okay, go on. And she, and, and she conceived again and bare a son, and he called his name Shem, saying, Sonina Nini has made me a remnant to raise up seed in the midst of the earth. Okay, so Japheth is going to go there, maybe mix up his seed as well with beans that he would have found there. But the remnant is in Shem. And inside of Shem, the remnant was called in Abram, Issachar, and the Kobe. Yes. So you see, this is the power of what they did. They translated, they twisted, but they did not understand the substance of this story. And so now the story is being revealed. Hallelujah. Yes, and and elder, now we you know since yesterday we haven't. I mean, haven't, but um, we haven't really talked about him. Much. But it's because we have found that in the book of Jasher, Nama is not conceiving any more any other sons. Mm. For two, so and then, right, and then, uh, in chapter five, before the flood, before the flood came, there was no mention of Ham. Mm. You you get to the echo, right? Am I, uh, I'm not. Um, okay, I there an echo. Okay. That's better now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so, um, but like you said last night, all of all of a sudden, he he appears in Ham. I mean, he appeared. Ham appears in the genealogy in chapter seven of Jasher. Two whole chapters mm -hmm. from five seven years. to seven. So not so so basically, according to the book of Jasher, Nama only conceived two sons. Yeah. Because that's what it and they, and they inserted the third one and then put him on the continent. Yes. So they can move these two off the continent because they know that these two children, their DNA must be the same and they must be together. One will stay in the center of the earth, the midst of the earth, to raise the remnant, and the other one will be spread abroad. Right. And if they get two of them off the continent, then the only one that is stable on the continent is Ham. And the Japheth and Shem now become Europe and um, Arabs and Syrians and all kinds of story. Hmm. Yeah, and the, and, and, and the way they do it, Elder, is, I, guess I call it, they piggyback on the prophecies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they know these principles. They, 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 they cause these, the principles of Sunday 92 work for them Right, because like uh, for instance, uh, remember when Mercedesy said that he who is servant among uh, among you shall be who your you master. Want, yeah, he who want to be master should be a servant. Isn't servant, it? right? And so, you, but see how they you see how they used it. Yeah, because they made hand. Uh, through Ham, Canaan to be servant. Yeah. So they used that mm -hmm. principle to put themselves above, right, as master. Yeah. Is, is that, yeah. it, it, That's why I call it reverse psychology. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like like back engineering, back engineering That's prophecy, it. right? <laughs> reverse engineering. That's the principle. You don't, when the sauce is done, you pick it up. And you go and reverse the whole principle to see how it operates. And yes. then you bring it out now and you say, look, I made this. When in fact you copied it. You yes. can't make it. It didn't originate with you. You twisted it and you found out how it operates. And then you claim that you are the ar architect of it. And this is what Europe did. Mm -hmm. So whenever mm -hmm. they go now and find the evidence and the prophecy, they 
um, invent the prophecy, reinvent the prophecy to make it applicable to them. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And and, and uh, it's uh, Sister Empress of Abel because she found um, a reference in the book of Giants concerning this as well. Okay. The book of John. No, the book of the Giants. The Giants. Okay. Yeah, uh, she, welcome, she's welcome. Hi, hi, welcome, Thank sister. You. How are you doing? Yes, <laughs> King. Nathaniel. We did find, in fact, find um, where the giants, the fallen angel that were doing all these treacherous things on the land, uh, they had visions of the coming flood and what is about to happen. So, in the book of Giants, it will be on the third page it went in details saying that um there was this massive flood right they, they had this vision where there was a tablet inscribed with several names on it and it was immersed in water and mm -hmm. after it was pulled up out of the water only three names were remaining on it not four not eight and not um, six. If six was on it, then we could um, assume that it was referring to um, Noah, his sons, and the wives. Um, it didn't have eight to say that it was Noah, three sons, and four wives. It said only three names, uh, which indicate that it was counting the wife with the husband as one. But mm -hmm. only three names, which and the only person that came out of we we are sure Noah came out of the flood, right? Mm -hmm. And his sons. So the fact mm -hmm. that out of the three, one would one would be counted onto Noah. It means the remaining two would be his sons. Yes. And if he had three yes. sons, yes. then the amount yes. would have been four and not three. Mm -hmm. So that's a very vital bit of information. You know when they do their inserts. They will never be their eyes will never be open enough in order to remove all truth. There will always yeah. be breadcrumb that will lead us back to the divine yeah. truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. So it's uh, very interesting. And there's another scripture elsewhere that also another version of the book of Giant that all it was actually two visions. So they had two visions. One was a tablet submerged in water. And then there was another vision about branches of a similar nature. And it's, it both said it was three names or three branch that um, came up out of the, um, the, the, the disaster that mm -hmm. was released on the earth. Solely three names, which would be Noah and his sons. Yeah. Mm. And you can see that Tom is an invention because why he end up on the um on the on the african continent producing black and brown people right and then these two now of noah gone off into euro asia and then noah stayed on the continent and then <laughs> the first man they find say life begin in africa where is the confusion over there they're all over the place because they know that they're lying but after tonight they will stop. Hopefully. Yeah. They can't stop because there's the DNA that lies. They, they got it written into the program written in the hard drive to lie, just to tell lies. Wow. Interesting. Tell us some more about Hebrew um, Strong's H 3315 again. Yeah. So uh, Strong's H 3315, your fat. Uh, Egypt equals or means Japheti in the Greek language, right? In the East Coastal language. I mean, the East Coastal language. The word, the word Egypt is Greek yeah. originally, but uh, Egypt uh, equals, you know, equals Japheti in the East Coastal. Okay. So they use Egypt to hide the word Japheti. So the two people, they say Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. But you don't know that that is the same word in the Isikosa language that means Japheth. I'm going to do this thing 
to show people the Isikosa uh, Bible tonight. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my famous verse um, when Abraham came up out of Egypt. Yes. And he went straight into the um, south, you know. And so I'm just getting up my, um, I'm getting up the, the Bible, which is the Esword. And anybody can do this if you want to check this out. The Esword um, is going to allow us a couple of translations. You can download the translations that you want. And then um, it will let you get to see what we're going to show you tonight. So this is um, Genesis. I want to go to Genesis chapter Genesis chapter 3, verse chapter um, 13, verse number 1. We want to get the word Egypt in the picture. That's the word Egypt. Yeah? Now, this is the Isikosa Bible up there. Yeah. And this verse is the one that said, Abraham went up out of Egypt. So we could figure it out in the, in the Isikosa. Let's go over there. That's the word we're looking for. Let me highlight it. And we go to the Isikosa Bible. See, that's the word that is put there, the Isikosa language, for Egypt. Yapetu. This is the word that, um, this is a word that means Japheth. You see, this is how they hide it. Even to this Isikosa language has been um, played around with. You see, you get Yaputu, Yaputu, Yapet, Yaput, right? And then if you go, if you, I think if you go to, um, if you go to the Strongs, not the Strongs, let's do the Google. I know you have it there. Google Translate. And this is Greek. Like they know what we're going to talk about. They had it at Greek. <laughs> yeah. So they say Egypt is Greek. E -G -Y -T. That's Egypt. And we want to put that in the Isikosa language which is this one and you see what it did you see so the Greeks when they make reference to Japheth they said Egypt they call him Egypt that's what they did so 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 brother Tan, you know what I did I decided to look at all the lands um northeast of Egypt mm -hmm. and out of Egypt and there's some pyramids there Mm. is directly related to um to you see the similarity in the architecture and the design and the artwork yes and then you see you can't meet you can't beat it if i if i'm drawing <laughs> if i'm the artist you call me picasso or one of them and if i'm drawing there is a mark that everybody will know that this is my kind of painting you see they will know that this is how I am um, draw. This is my mark. It could be rectangles. I might be using triangles and squares, or sometimes I'd use um, horizontal lines or vertical lines in my drawing for particular places. This is what I'm doing. You know that with my style. So you get the same style throughout all the pyramids. The same architecture, artwork, design is following. Yes. It's Jafet's work. So all them land out, out, um, northeast of Egypt belong not to Shem, but to Japheth. It's Japheth land. He's the one that is being spread abroad. So Japheth is going to be in China. Japheth is going to be in Indonesia. Japheth is going to, wherever Japheth goes, he left his mark. Like Picasso, he left his mark. Yes. Yeah, let, let's go back into this thing. This thing is nice. All right. Okay. So Jaff Egypt is Greek for Jaffeti. Jaffeti. That's Egypt Greek. And that's it in um I wonder what it would look like. Is there any voice in the in the um in the New Testament, which was translated by the Greeks. Let's do this. Sorry, Brother Tadev. Uh, I know, that's okay. Yeah, let's, let's uh, check it out. This is interesting. Let's see a verse in the Bible. 
that got to do with Egypt in the New Testament? And Elder, while you're, you're pulling that up, just something to add that um, King Majimbi had shared with me, I think it was yesterday, <laughs> how interesting it is that the um, ancient Egyptians specifically um, would use the term remetch and um, the definition or that or what that breaks down to is also people just as our Bantu means people. So it means people and mankind. Which word is that? Remetch. Remetch would be the ancient word that the ancient Egypt Egyptian used to address themselves, similar to how we use Bantu. Okay. Wow. That's yes. So it would be pronounced Remetch, but it's spelled R M T. Okay. So it's a term no. defined as analogous to ancient Egyptians. It means people or mankind, but was exclusively used to define themselves, which is the ancient Egyptian, and not other groups or nationalities. Okay. Okay. So, so from a historical standpoint, they also know that they are from a lineage of righteousness in terms of from Noah. Even though mm -hmm. they went astray and perverse a lot of stuff, they were okay. still Noah's teaching initially. Wow. Well, we see it here in the New Testament. This is the word Egypt is the same one as the one in the old um, in the Old Testament. So it's the same. Yeah, they use yeah. the same one word. They use the same name. So the Greeks, so the Greeks in, and the and the Hebrews are messing around, isn't it? Yeah, because that should be a different word. Yeah, because this this word they're hiding the word. See, they both handled all the um the 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 the, the, the languages. I wonder what it would look like in um Yoruba language. I think it's right there, Elder. You just had E J I B I T I. Right there. You see, if you take off the E, you get Jabiti. See, Jabiti. Yeah, see, Egypt. So, see, it's a, it, it, you hear the sound, right? Yeah, you can get the Jabiti in there. The Jabiti. Is that Jafet? Is that Jafet song that they're hiding there? Wonder who mm -hmm. else got that there? Let's see the original. No, it's not there. Exactly. What the Ibu is saying. Is he going to Syria? To the left, uh, to the left of that oh, one. There you go. His name Japet J I P. <laughs> wow. Yes, I yeah. see it. Yeah, Japet. So they hide. They hide Egypt. They hide Egypt, like in every one of our languages. Let's see what the Hausa language will say. This is more on the Muslim side. It's gonna be hard to pick the one out here. Yeah, I don't. Is it Masar Tashi? Mas Ubanji? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see it there. Let's see what Sifa is doing. See, Sifa yeah, was from Misraim. Which is this? Is this Greek as well? Mitzrayim. That's a good question. Um, because I don't think you know, this is this is the Greek, right? This is the New Testament. If we put that in Google Translate, let's see what will happen. If it's Greek, let's see what will happen. It will turn up as this. Let's see, Miss. Okay, it's actually the same. There's no Igbo here. Anyhow, anyhow, let, let, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is live on Black Re-Education TV, investigating the story of our ancestors. We give praise and thanks to Almighty Sunini Nanini.
for what he's doing. Hallelujah. That's part of the awakening, deciphering these things. <laughs> right. <laughs> Live research. So people are seeing what we're doing and, and they'll get a feel and appreciation for what happens behind the scene and the time that um, goes into this research. So Egypt is Yafeti, that is Japheth. That land is the land of Japheth. And what is the mark in that land? The pyramids. Japheth built the pyramids. And that is what we are going to prove in a little while. All right? He is a son of Noah. He is carrying the same DNA with Shem, E1, B1, right? And um, it's the DNA that produced black and brown people. So Japheth is not a European. He's not the father of Eurasia. Them seven sons that is listed by Josephus Day and others in Genesis chapter 10, Table of Nations, the name Japheth over European nation is wrong. That is not his children. But they did that to hide the architecture that they couldn't hide. That which he has built and left as evidence, which we will show tonight, they couldn't move that. So they move him with the evidence so that he will be in, in the same place with the evidence so they don't have to defend the evidence. All they have to say, we don't know. Oh, that must be thousands of years old. We don't know who built it. We don't know who put it there. Because they got Japheth now as their father. If you ever discover that Japheth is the builder, then they stand to gain it. So you have to say that Europeans built it. And you'll hear conversation like this. Oh, um, the, 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 the Almex are mutation of white people. This is another obscure ob and disgusting conversation that is out there as well. That the Almex is a group of Europeans that um, mutated from being Europeans to black. And that the original was white. And then they mutated to black because they're hiding Jaffa. This is after the flood. You know the thought that came to me, Brother Tanya, Sister, uh, Sister Empress? Yes. For some of these things built before the flood. Was I had that same question. Yeah. Built before the flood. Because the flood would not have taken them down. No, they would have withstand it. Because remember, after they get off the ark, trees would have been standing because that's how the uh, raven um, found that olive leaf. Yeah. So there would have been um, structures that would have still been there. Yeah, oh, because God. this is interesting. They could have been built before the flood. Some of them. Because they're putting dates on them and they're putting the date beyond 6,000 years to 13,000, some of them saying. So if that is so, then when Sunini created his earth and then he said, um, fill it up, replenish it, fill it up with people, and then the flood take away people. Some of these structures were already there. And that, and yeah, we'll see, we'll come to it eventually. Let's go in. This is the evidence that we just showed, yeah? Yeah. That Egypt is Greek, and Japheth is the Isikosa equivalent of Egypt. I always used to wonder where is Japheth's land. We know um, our fax had got his land. That is um, Algeria. Elam got his land. We know that's um, Tunisia, right? And we know that Ashur operated out of West Africa. Aram operated out of West Africa, all right? But when we go to the east side, the Japheth side, we know Cush land. As we know Nimrod built Babylon in the land of his father, Cush, right, in the Sudan. But where was Japheth's land? Japheth's land was on the continent as well as off the continent. But you didn't get to see Japheth because the obscure, his blackness, and then began to call him father of white people. Because if he's not the father of the white people, then where did they come from? Is another question. Not for this show, though. For another show. Let's go in. So Egypt is also Swahili. Misri. And we were here last night. I think this is where we stop. You want to pick it up from there, Brother Tanya? Yes, yes. This is where we left off, where the land was originally called Kemet 
or Kermit or Kemet, which means people of the black land. Wow. Wow. And that pictograph is telling you that? Yes. Yeah, and I rush to see that that is the same kind of shape on the top of that rock um, in the church that they carve in um, Ethiopia from the stone. Yes. You know that church? You yes. see the top of it got that same cross in it. You just need to complete the circle. And right. Get and when Farini, this is interesting, when Farini went into the Kalahari looking for the temple, he saw a Maltese cross, which is something close to that again, mm. on the ground. It's telling you that you see, this family are builders. The children of Noah were not just sitting on island doing sacrifices and eating goat and sheep. They were the builders. They built stone in stone. It looked like Japhet, the older brother. He was carving in these stones. He was cutting out rocks. In Petra, that was his land. He cut out those rocks there. We're going to see some of that. Yes. Let, let's go in. Okay, go, Brother Tanya, the prophecy. Yes, the prophecy given to Yafet. And he called his name Japhet, saying, Salina Nini has enlarged me in the earth. Wow. You can go to the next yeah. one. So here we go. This is this can't be a mistake. <laughs> this cannot be a mistake. So the pyramid in I'm not going to pronounce it, the word in Mexico is lining yes. up with the pyramid in Egypt and it's lining up with another pyramid yeah. in China. Yes. Who is doing this story from east to west? From west to east? Or is one setting up, spreading abroad from his land in, in, in Egypt, in Africa, and he's spreading abroad to the east and to the west, like when um, Abraham went up to South Africa, so then he said to him, look to the east, but you stay on the land. Look to the west, look to the north, look to the south. All this land that you see, I give you. But here was Japheth now being spread abroad in the earth. So he is in East Africa, in Egypt, Northeast Africa, and he's spreading abroad to the east in China, to the west in Mexico. This, this is... This is not a mistake. <laughs> and his, his artifact is the pyramids. He is the builder. He is the master builder. He is the craftsman. Wow. He's not the person. You see, that's the secret they have there. They are hiding the fact that Japheth, son of Noah, black and brown people, are the builders of the pyramids on earth. They are hiding that. And then they are attributing it to um, Enki. And in him, the fallen angels, their ancestors. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, 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 yeah and Elder, um, like I said, you know, the we we know pretty much that these land masses were closer than they were today. Yes. Right. And By that <laughs> right. And that most likely these structures that we get ready to see here soon were already there before the split. The, right. Yeah, because the, the scripture says it was in the days of Peleg. E, was it Peleg or, or no, e, no, 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 no. In the days of the earth began yeah, to the earth was divided. Yes, yeah. was it Peleg or Eber? Uh, I think it was Peleg. Uh, let me Google that. The one I want us to get all right. Let's see that. Yes, during the time of Peleg that the earth was divided, it is Peleg. in Genesis. So it's Genesis 20, 10, 25, um, Genesis. and Chronicles, First Chronicles 1, 19. Okay, Genesis 10. 25. Uh, 
10.25. So it says it here. And, in, and unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg. For in his day was the earth divided. So that division took place in the life of Peleg, great-great-grandson of Shem, cousin to Japheth. We need to check and see how long Japheth lived. Because Eber lived a very long time, as well as Shem. We yeah. need to see how long Japheth lived. Because Japheth, he really expanded. So, so, so the, 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 the conversation could be then, um, Brother Tanya, that when the earth was together, I, I want to get out of this. I probably need to just... Yeah. When the earth was together, close to each other, because we know um, that if you push South America into Africa, it's going to go, this tip here, this horn, is going to go straight into the bight of Benin, right back there and fit in. You see that tip there? Mm -hmm. go in there. Madagascar is going to go back and fit into Africa there. And so the distance from here and there might have been the same as from here to that one when it come back. Yeah, this is interesting. So Shem and uh, Japheth was using, harnessing the technology of the pyramid to leave his marker here. Wow. Let's go in some more. Yes. Yes. Go on. Mm -hmm. All right. He called his name Yafet, saying, Selena Nini has enlarged me in the earth. He called his name Shem, saying, Selena Nini has made me a remnant to raise a seed in the midst of the earth. Okay. And one so, is enlarged, and one yes. has to raise a seed in the earth. Right. The and, and so this is just, when I, uh, when I was going through this, I was just saying, like, you know, Africa being the root and the other continents being the branches. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's powerful. That's powerful. Yes. So that is the center and everything branch off from there. Yes. And everything got to come back today because that's the root. Yeah, that's where you have your, I mean, that's the only place you're going to see your giraffes. I don't know any other place you'll find giraffes, mm. but on the continent. Yep, unless they steal them and, and move them out. Would, like right, move them out. Yeah. So, so those those lines are pointing us to pyramids, you say? I kind of sort of, I was just using this um, as a, just to just give us a bigger picture Okay. of what's going on between um with Shem and, and your fat. Get you know, um you know, sometimes you have to work the brain, you know, massage the brain to look at things a lot different. Yeah. Be, because now you are gonna get a world view of these prophecies that were spoken through Noah. Yeah. And so we see that uh your fat's um prophecy was concerning the enlargement of, of of him across the earth concerning migration, concerning building, and different mm -hmm. things like that. And then he, and then we're going to see as we continue on Shem's role in the whole scheme of thing as well. Okay. Okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> this is trouble now. This is the pyramids of, of South America. There's a reading there at the bottom there. Yes. So uh, this is the one in Mexico that you saw in the previous map, right? To the uh, that mm -hmm. was for the far left. Uh, Teotihuacan. I I believe this is the um, the same name that was mentioned in uh, the movie Wakanda. Okay. The second part. Right. Tihuacan. 
Got you right. <laughs> is that is, is that is that correct, Empress? Did you see the movie? In what Tio, it sounds very similar at the very it least. similar, right? At the very least. <laughs> right. But it's you know, this is the uh Mexican uh city Mexican here in South city. America. The Great Pyramid. Now get this out the Great Pyramid of the of the of the Sun and Moon. Uh -oh. The sun and the moon. Yes. And then um if you keep going, say views on ancient city ruins. Of, the, of these pyramids, valley, the road of, de of the dead. So the same conversation is being said about the pyramid of Giza and the other ones on the continent telling you about the tomb of the dead. So they're, di they're directing us what to think because they don't want to think of that there was a living man named Japheth that is responsible for these pyramids all the way from Africa in Egypt where he started out and he built these pyramids every part of the earth as his mark on the earth so they're telling us about the dead stay away from it is the dead they're pulling all people heart and eating it is the dead so 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 lucifer is, is presiding over death he is claiming these things basically that all that happened here was about the dead the road of the dead they're killing people and eating the heart and pulling it out of the chest forget the rest of the story just remember that you see how easy it is to blind the eye. You redirect the mind into a different location, or you tell the mind one plus one is five. And after a while, the mind will emit that error, but it becomes a truth to the person that is saying one plus one is five. Classical conditioning. <laughs> yes. Yes. And Ed, you see that you see now look how you see how big these are, right? You see the the this person here on the second on the top of the second set of steps. He's very little, man. He's I think I'm seeing a few persons. <laughs> it, you see how small they are? Yes. <laughs> right there. Really, really yeah, one of the small. It's little. Like an ant. It's like an ant. You know, the man was talking about this thing today, and he was saying. This, it's the same one, the pyramid of the sun and the moon, right? That it takes the exact size of this base of this pyramid is the exact size of the base of the pyramid of Giza. Mm. It's the same builder. He brought his square and his compass over here. <laughs> so Japheth has been hiding right in front of us, coming out from the continent, building these pyramids across the earth, Leaving them, he was a builder, precision stone mason. You hear them using them words to us in Rasecution, um, Freemasonry, stone mason. Mm. Look at the size of these boulders and how they have been put together there. He was a master craftsman. Wow. Let's go in. We got to come back to this. Let's go in. <laughs> Okay, so then, so these are other pyramids that you'll find in South uh, South America. Uh, I think that's it, uh, Sister Empress. The top left, the Temple of Kukulkan. That one, and then um, down below you have the Mayan Temple ruins at Palenque. Uh, I think I'm saying there at Palenque, Mexico. Uh, the Temple of the Inscriptions. Down uh, the third one down on the left, and then the one here in the middle, the pyramid of Nietzsche. Is and that South America? Was that other? Is that in South America too? Yeah. Yes, all these in South America. Uh huh. The Temple of Ku uh, Kul Khan. Yes. The I, think, I, I think that's the one that's uh, that's mentioned in that movie, you and then. You before you right go, up. you see the word that we're trying to pronounce there. That is the, that is the word that you be sung <laughs> using the Isikosa clicks. Because the Isikosa clicks, oh, Sanini is good. Mm. Isikosa oh, clicks. God. Right. The, I can hear it. <laughs> it comes from the Canaanites, the, the sons of Canaan. 
they're the ones that came up south that influenced the Bantu um, Isikosa language there. That clicking comes mm -hmm. from the, the Edites and the Canaanites. So it is Jaffet that spoke with the click. Yes. And there, and there was, yes, and they were speaking, um, they were speaking the easy Kosa in the movie as well. They got to because they know the, what they're wow, the Jaffet spoke with the click, and that's why when they came, when when um Abraham went up south and he met with those people, and when Joshua bring the children in, Naphtali, his children in KwaZulu Natal, right. They were speaking with the Zulu speak with the click. The Swana people got some of the click. The Isikosa got some of the click. And nearly all the, the Bantu languages, at some point, they will use that clicking sound because they were influenced by their cousins, Jaffet, on the continent. So that cook, cook, they cook, cook, is a clicking. Cook, cook, and. That's, oh, that sounds so, oh, man. <laughs> that is Isikosa there. Wow. That is the root of it. Kukul Khan. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, somebody's going to come in the chat room. Somebody's listening to the show from South Africa. Um, and you're going to tell us how you pronounce that. Pronounce it with a voice Probably note. So you can right. that. Because that Ku, K U, K U, is that click? Mm -hmm. It definitely got clicks. Yeah. <laughs> Probably about two or three clicks in that one word. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. I can't wait for someone in the comments to, 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 to they right. They're gonna confirm they're it. They're <laughs> it. Right. The temple of the great jaguar. Yes, the temple of the great jaguar, the top right there. And and the, one then, the, bottom, the same one we saw before. Same one we saw before. before. Right. Oh well. No. Yes. So South Jaffet was in South America long before, long before, and I tell you, no worldwide flood would have been able to take down this structure here, this, especially this one here. Nothing would move this. Mm -mm. That water wasn't intended to uh, uproot anything that was formally built like this. Japheth would have built this temple. They would have been building long before. I can see the envy in the nations, um, the, the fake ones, when they see this kind of structure, the wisdom to do this. is still demonstrated on the continent when you see a boy is gonna pick up pieces of electric wire and make a radio station. It's not normal. It's inspiration from Sunini Nanini. Let's fix yeah. for, that, that for that. Okay, so the Temple of the Great Jaguar. Bear in mm. mind, um, the movie Black Panther, right? A Black Panther is just a Black Jaguar. Yes. yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. The representation of Jafet is just all over that movie. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wow, let's go in some more. Pyramids okay, again. so yes, in Central America. But it's the same pyramids. I can see the stair. The calculation for the stair with Pythagoras that came 1,000 years after is now claiming that he is the father of um, the theorem about the square of <laughs> The square was with, with Jaffet's children in East Africa. They were the builders, the master builders, the master mm -hmm. craftsmen carving his, isn't that the same place? The obelisk they were cast? Yeah. In stone, mm -hmm. all of them fetch it from, from Africa. It's Jaffet's work. And they claim now, they, oh, this is corruption to the highest. They take the obelisk from Africa and then bring it into their land and then now connecting with it as though it is some special feature of theirs. They stole it from Japheth's land, Africa, and then wherever you see a pyramid, again, that's the mark of Japheth. Yeah, and then the, the one here to the right, this is, uh, this is the same, this is the uh, more of the city from the one before. Okay. Pal uh, Palenque. This is the my, the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was, no, no, it's, no. It's, it's a huge city. Okay, and uh, a temple city like so, like yeah. they build this edifice and all the places around it was in support of what they were doing here. Now, and they now bring it out as though 
the Mayans come here now and start pulling out people hard. Whoever come here after has turned this edifice into a pagan setting. That's what happened. But the original people here would not have built this for, for that kind of purpose. Anyhow, this is Central Africa. Pyramids, Mark of Jaffa. Yeah, and Elder, uh, the one on the left, the uh, the Great Pyramid of, of uh, Chalu, that's a Catholic church on top of that on top hill, of but it's not a oh. hill. All of that you see on the screen, on this picture, is the pyramid. The pyramid. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the slow pins on it. Yeah, this the, is Africa, yeah. In Africa, when they went on to the biblical locations in Africa, the Christianity did the same. They built churches, and then named the church after the name of the location that they put it in. For example, you put a church near to the um, Mount Mount Horeb, and then you say the Church of Horeb. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I only name it because it's um, a biblical place. I named the church after it because it plays in the Bible. But this place named Horeb on the land before the Bible was doctored. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then you see the stone, you see the stone work right there. Yes. It's, but all that, but, uh, the pyramid, the top part, the pyramid is under all that uh, vegetation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you notice that the children of Shem, they were also builders in stone. The walls of Jerusalem in um, Zimbabwe. That they oh, yes, in, yes. The same family building, different types of stone work. Uh -uh. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go in some more. Where are we now? Still Central America? Yeah, still Central America. Uh, just, just, ru yeah. just ruins of other uh, temples yeah. of um, the pyramids. That the pyramids. Mm -hmm. This looks like a temple, TMPLO. Yeah, all these this are looks... temples. Yeah, temples, city centers. Wow. I'm thinking the few pyramids, regardless of the number that's around the world, is just. Uh, a remnant of what was actually there before. Yeah, and some of it is covered over, like you said, in, in mounds, right. vegetation mm. covered them up. Right. This, all of these might have been covered with vegetation and then strip it off now, just expose exactly. it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Huh? Yeah, tourist well, look site. At the one in the middle. Look at the one in the middle. Look how the sun is rising in the back of it there. Oh, wow. I think they were worshiping Sunini Nanini, you know, and thanking him for the ability that he has given to them to build these structures on the earth that he has given them. And then Europe turned this thing into pagan worship. Oh, don't worry, these things, they used to pull out people's heart there. They used to pull their heart out. Maybe the people that came after were doing that, but these people here must, must have built these things as thanks given to Sunini Nanini for allowing mm. them the privilege of being on his earth, on his land. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the modern colonizer and invaders would have been the one that's doing all that sacrificial but, and slaughter. Yeah, yeah since the emperors don't forget, there were um, the children of the fallen was over here as well with the giants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and also to support that even further, uh, before they, the giants started having that, you know, those vision of what is to come, there is a verse that said in the same book of giant that um, 200 angels seize 200 donkeys, 200 asses, 200 sheep and rams of the flock, 200 goats, 200 beasts of the field from every animal and from every bird for experiments in inbreeding with humans and all types of miscegenations. Mm. Isn't that what the children do now? Yeah. Isn't that children of the same fallen ones doing this thing all the time? Exactly. Doing cloning, inbreeding. It's the mm. same children doing it. Yep. Look at this. 
So here is Japheth putting his mark all on the earth. Wherever he went, he built these as evidence that we were here. We were here before anybody got here. When you get here, what you will see, you cannot replicate and you will wonder. That's why Lucifer to, um, said, and if you bow down and worship me, all of these things I will give you. Because he now made his children to take possession of the things that did not belong to him. Oh, wow. Wow, there's so much flowing in my mind right now. <laughs> Let's go in some more. Where are we now? North we America. North and you're saying that this is a pyramid, yeah? Right. If they call them mounds, um, instead of pyramids in, in North America, but uh, we, you know, the pyramid mounds, you know, it's the same type of structure that we so see, but it's the same. So King Natani, what I'm thinking, maybe because the outline of this, the it looks as if maybe underneath all that is a pyramid. It might actually be a pyramid, just as Ella was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. they took they would have those pyramids that we we can see visibly, they actually probably just remove, clear it of all right. the and plants and everything. This yeah, might really, really. Yes. But these ones, they're not gonna strip them because they know it's under there, they can see it with satellite. But if they strip this away. The people are going to connect the dots, you see? But we have connected it already. That is the same people in Egypt, Japheth's children, that moved to all these parts of the world and left the marker there in the form of pyramids. It's the same structure that they're building. They're, building it all the they're specialized. They're the master builders. Like I said last night, they got a compass and the, um, the square. Navigation and build. Navigate wherever you meet, build. Navigate wherever you meet, build. Every place you go, build. And build where you know to build. Pyramids. Wow. Let's go in some more. And this is a uh, Mississippi area here. Um, in the uh, southeast region of, the, uh, of North America, you have all these mounds here in the green. He's green. All the greens have mounds or pyramids. Yes, on this yeah. side, yes. Wow. Yeah, the pyramid mount. Wow. Then you have the pictures wow. here showing. Wow. Wow. And the ones at the bottom is the same mound again. You see, you can see that there's a pyramid structure. There's a structure to that. Yes. All of them there. All of them got their structure to it. Yeah, say it's say style and everything. Wow. Wow. Let's go into more. So I mean, in this little area of America, this is about 50, 60 of these things here. Yeah, it could it could be. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty-five. About fifty fifty plus of these in this space here alone. That is serious. I wonder how they line up anyhow. So this is another one here. Canada now. Right, Canada. Yeah, Canada. Pyramids in Canada. And the word great is there again. Great mound. I've seen great, great, great coming through all the, the time. You see the one at the bottom here says serpent mounds on oh, Ontario, oh, oh. Canada. So we need to investigate why the call yeah. is serpent mounds. <laughs> Ontario, Canada. Well, that's a very cold place. Place of the serpent, eh? Mm hmm Money to toll mounds. The great mounds. Wow. A lot of people talk about the native, the, the American Indians, but they don't want to speak about the break-off that occurred before they came here. The break-off that occurred between um, from the Syrians that cross over through Canada and come into the Americas. Oh. Yes, the Native Amer Indians are actually descendants of the Syrians from Europe. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. So that's yes. where we get this. So they're Asian, Arab, Asian. Yes, they are. That's <laughs> why Europe and Asia got the same kind 
all the other of the strange DNAs other than E is within them. Right. There's a family mix up. Right. And that is why they have a the, their DNA is the same as the Euro Asian, the Euro Arab, because they they are actually a break off from the Syrians. Because when they were moving, you had some would settle in Canada, right? And then you have those that settled in the Americas, uh, the in the United States. Mm -hmm. But they were just dividing, like breaking off from their original um, pilgrimage from mm -hmm. Europe in Syria. Wow. Wow. So this, this is pyramids now in Europe, yeah? But this looking like several pyramids in the back there as well. The one in front, there's one at the back there. There's another one at the back there. Going back there, all that look like mounds. Look at them there. Wow. Yes. And, and, and it's in Yes. It's being said that the, these haven't been confirmed as pyramids. <laughs> Okay, but I mean, it's just obvious when you look at. <laughs> yeah, when you look at, it, it's like, really. Mm, they, I, just, I, I think they don't because of the vegetation, right? Right. So we got to see them with old vegetation to know it's pyramids. To know it's right. pyramids, right? So we know that these ones ain't got vegetation. These is pyramids, so, you know, <laughs> These are pyramids for real in Antarctica. Wow. So there's no vegetation to hide these ones. Mm -mm. The vegetation is ice. So what are pyramids doing in Antarctica? Uh, so bit, uh, over there. With Japheth there as well. Anywhere you see these pyramids, is Japheth enlarged himself in the earth. And it seems as though somebody was out to make sure that the memory of Japheth, son of Noah, black and brown people spread abroad in this earth in every corner of the earth Nobody must know that they were here. Let's make it look like we are here. So they got the Antarctic Treaty that Europe and signed between Europeans that they can occupy this place here. The final prison of the fallen angels. Yes, 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 yes. That is the one before the flood, before the fire. This is where they are. Look at pyramids. Look, there's a pyramid there. There's a pyramid there. Look at another one shaping up there. They got more. And then we come to Asia now. Yes. So Japheth comes to Asia. <laughs> Is, did he bring an Olmec statue as well and put it down here? I know, right? <laughs> did Japheth fetch an Olmec or did he, was he here building Olmecs too? He was saying, here we are again. You can't move us from here. We're leaving this to let you know. Is he building an obelisk in the corner there too? I think he uh -oh. was being prophetic, you know. He was being prophetic. He knew what was going to happen, so he make sure he left the stamp. Or leave stamp. It there. <laughs> leave it so there. You, so you can make the connection. Yes. And when you know, my cousins are going to come and they're going to make the connection for you. Right. So you can know that um, I was here. And yes. Europe know that we're talking the truth. Now, this look like the walls of Great Zimbabwe. <laughs> so these stone masons from the continent are responsible for civilization around the world. Is this yeah. another one looking like a pyramid again? Where is this one? Yeah, now that one, when I saw this one, I was like, like wow. Burmese. This is Burmese. Burmese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Burmese. 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 Burmese temple. This is an Arab Asian mm -hmm. people. So they, but they didn't build this. This is a problem. They came and inherit. They saw this when they get there. This was there before them. None of them can recall which one of their ancestors built this. None. Cambodia. And then you got Ka Kawakalang. Knock, is that no again? Cow clown, okay. yeah, cow, cow clown knock in oh. Thailand. Thailand. So all of these are pyramids that none of these people here in their time, in their history, could really say that 
they were responsible for these things. Who was responsible? Japheth. Yeah, this is South, that's South Asia. This is South Asia. So this is Asia as against South America. Two similar pyramids. Look at it. <laughs> yes. This is this going up from the frontier, the one in Asia, and that's it going up from the west side on the in the um, South America. It is the same building. The similarities tell you that it's the and work is, of one minute. These are skyscrapers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who was building like this? <laughs> Who is influencing architecture wow. like this today? Someone with divine wisdom. Yeah, and you had the square and the compass. Mm -hmm. The same two instruments that um, Abu Bakr Kete the second following after Mansa, um, before Mansa Musa, he, when he left, he was a mariner. He had the compass and the square too. He's going to in Java, I'm going to do good bill. Let me just get off this continent. I'm not coming back. I'm going to build too. I'm following in the lineage of my cousin. In the elder, you see the, uh, the one on the right, it has, it has a lot of rooms. Yeah. It hasn't collapsed. Wow. 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 There's Except nothing maybe at the top. Nothing new on the sun. Wow. And then this is the origin. So yes. it looks to me that this was the start. Because you see the development on those ones. If you're thinking in terms of architecture, right? But while those were being developed, this, the ability was still on the continent because we see some things like these now in the Sudan. <laughs> so you have this in Egypt or in Japheth's mainland. And then we began to see the same pyramid structures all over the Sudan. And, and Elder, um, if you go back to Sudan, these are the same shaped pyramids that was on the map that you were showing with Babylon that right next to Egypt. Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow. You know, I've, I've, um, I've been to Aswan. So I've pulled, I pulled up some of the pyramids from Aswan, which is in the Sudan area. I will show you them just now. Let's go some more. This is this is Nebuchadnezzar. This is the building. <laughs> Nimrod. This is Nimrod. And that's why Europe wants you to believe that Nimrod was in Iraq. Because they don't want you to connect this master craftsman who is walking in the lineage of Japheth. He's a child of Japheth through Kush, doing the same thing that Japheth has done all around the world. He, has been, he had confidence. He said, let's go down and build a city with towers. Because he knew that that ability, he had it. And he could coordinate it because Japheth was building. That's why Nimrod was building. This is making sense. So they try to move Babylon now from Africa along the Nile to put him in, because they move she, um, Japheth, they want to move it to um, the Arab lands. What are we gonna see? Hmm. So this is Nimrod building here. Yeah. Wow. Now one yep. of the things you see introduced is the columns. Are you noticing them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I can see it on the right side, top right. You can see the columns coming up there. And here comes the columns. I know they're saying Roman kiosk. Yeah, Roman Nubia. kiosk in Naka Nubia, Sudan, Sudan which we Babylon. know to be ancient Babylon. Same place. So you got the columns now. They're stacking, rounding the blocks and stacking them on each other. This is still the children of um, Japheth building here. Same children. 
So now you notice that they're refining this architecture and making it like smaller. <laughs> and then no, come no, no, now no, we no, come no. full circle. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now these are made in Africa. All of these were made in Africa and shipped and shipped to Europe. Which is this one at the top right? Top left. That's the uh, Washington Monument. That 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 um, stone was moved from Africa. And then, yeah, there's you know, a, yeah. I know the one at the Vatican that was moved from Africa. I went right up to that one day. So why are they fetching Jaffa things around? Are they claiming to be the architects behind the builders behind these? It's not true. They've lied. Mm. And the one below uh, the Vatican is? That's the, uh, London. Oh, this is here. Yeah. This one is, look like it got hieroglyphs on it as well. Like this one, this one got plenty of hieroglyphs on it as well. And the yeah. one going bottom, less that's, uh, bottom. That's uh, in Australia. Australia. And then top, right? In Asia. That's in Asia. So they all take design and architecture from the same people that they want to demonize yeah the same people that they don't like is the same people that was builders in stone builders in masonry freemasonry <laughs> masonry without without cement there's a computer razor blade thin between it when they finish doing it <laughs> That's the ability of the black people that they demonize. This is Uncle Jaffet's work that they're trying to claim. Yes. And pre presenting it in their land as though it's got connection with it. When the reality is, he was in every single one of these lands building pyramids. Yeah. And, um, and so, yeah, this part here, uh, Jaffet in Asia, this a little, uh, just um, showing a little bit of. What I shared with you the other day with um, where the 1900s, we have mm -hmm. pictures of Black Asians. Yeah, I believe. Oh. Go ahead. And I was going to. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your thought. I I believe that the Great Wall of China was built by the children of Japhet, and the Chinese know that. Of course. I am mm -hmm. almost sure that no it was doubt in my mind. The brown people. And that was all the marks that Japheth has left to let them know that those children are the rightful ears of every part on earth. There was no space for them here. They didn't belong here. They came lately. A product of Neanderthals. They, they call modern, modern humans. Modern humans. Modern humans. And then they present themselves now as rulers and kings and leaders of what? Look what they have presided over, the destruction of civilization. That's what they presided over. Oh, they're going to be angry, man. Mm. So now we're looking at people now. So yeah. we look at the building. We got Jaffet. So this is a black man. Please don't tell me he's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Asia, that's an Asian man. This is a black man. You see. And that's a black man like the one that we saw in um, Ethiopia riding yeah, that. that I, don't, I can't tell if that's a boy or a girl. But yeah, that, that, everyone in this picture is dark. Wow. And this is in 1903. And uh, this is CO. This is, yeah, Korea. Wow. Uh, tell me about these now. Yeah, just more Black Asians elder. Now, this, uh, the one at the bottom with the camels, mm -hmm. I believe that's an old one as well. Uh, goes back to early 1900s. Two, two Black boys. And that's why they're they 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 in Asia. Asia. Yeah, in Asia. And well, that is very similar to the Khoisans. Yeah, yeah. This man looked like a Khoisan. So, oh, wow. 
And then, Elder, if you if the one at the bottom with the kids, that struct you see that structure in the back behind that wall? Yeah, the architecture there. Mm -hmm. It looks similar to uh, the Babylon, right? Yeah, and it looks like the walls of Great Zimbabwe. Yeah, see? Wow. And she's not, this little Chinese girl is not afraid of this black man. This is <laughs> grandfather. This is our grandfather. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And just tell me about this yeah. now. But that was pretty much it, it, it with the pyramids. So now we're going to Shem. So now he shall enlarge your fat, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. I and I was praying about. That. I said, "How is your fat dwelling in the tents of Shem?" And then it it came to me, looking at it from a big picture, your fat was given the ability to be enlarged to to prosper in the earth through building making creating cities leaving his marker with the pyramids and the obelisks and everything that has to do with your fat right well what's our marker what did Sunni mark shem and his descendants with he's going to worship exactly the most worshiping people on the earth <laughs> yes is shem <laughs> man said that today in the video uh, this Carlson man somebody shared that video with me and he said that he said the ability to worship comes down in the DNA and Europeans have learned how to turn off the spirit of worship that thing that we like to do worship is in the DNA mm -hmm. and they learn how to turn it on and turn it off so that's yes, why they yes. give a substitute for it so now go go on go on so so Shem, as a remnant, he is the worshiper. He yes, the yes. So they substitute church, church now for him. Exactly. Exactly. So the, the whatever they do to deceive Shem, they have to include that which is coded in his DNA to worship. Right. Here I am to worship. They give him church. Right. We right. have to worship right. something. We have to worship something. Yeah, so just as they piggybacked on Yafet's prophecy concerning being master builders, they piggybacked on the prophecy concerning Shem as far as worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and being a remnant. And being a remnant. Re meaning that we 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 were given stewardship over Selene Anini's word. Right. Yeah. And his laws and his in the in the ways we are to live on the earth. Wow. And if Jafet goes astray, it is us that will bring him back to the path because exactly. Is that is that is that a reason why Jerusalem is named using Shem and Japheth? Right. Jerusalem is the Jebusite city, which is the lineage of Japheth, and Salem is the lineage of Shem. That was living in the place called Salem in the Nadir. So this is the combination of the two of them. So Shem will lead Japheth in worship. He is the one that going to lead in worship to Sunini Nani. So now they substitute the worship of Sunini Nani with the worship of Lucifer. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's correct. <laughs> They're gonna be very angry that we see this. Yeah, and so and so, um, remember so so remember when uh, Abram was visited by by those two angels, uh, angels, right? They came to dwell with Abram. Mm -hmm. Abram went straightway and had uh, Sarah to prepare a meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and. Hospitable. You see the hospitality, and then they went into worship. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they, they, they and 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 talking about what Sunday night he was going to be doing in the future. Yeah, and they're telling it to Abraham. Shall I with, withhold anything they said? Shall I withhold this from Abraham? Abraham? Because you know we need to tell him what what Sunini plans for the future. He needs to know it. Yes, wow. 
And so it's, it's the same thing here with the church. You come in, you have churches that do feed you, and then they so get they, the church as they the to deceive <laughs> Shem. So Shem get caught, his deception is in the church. Right. And they t- oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Sister Empress. Oh, because they have to make it similar to what we are accustomed to. Mm-hmm. What's in the DNA? Yes, to make it to for it to fully deceive us, mm-hmm. it has to feel familiar. Right. And it's true because look how the children of Shem is quarreling now. Uh, you mean no, 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 no Gentile will be saved? I want some of the Gentiles to be saved. Please let me save some Gentiles. This is how the, this is how. Um, Shem's children, um, true Abraham is behaving now. They, they're more concerned about the salvation of the Gentiles they, uh, rather than the deception that the Gentiles has put us through. Look at the co doing this business here. <laughs> so now, deception is a spirit. Yes. The spirit of deception is on them. So they use the church as the vehicle of deception. Christianity the arm of Vatican enslavement. Mm. This is what they've done. Wow. And the elder, before you go forward, this you know what this church represents? Go ahead. And all other churches alike. You this is your fet and and shem and wrapped shem. in yeah. one package by the deceivers. Okay. The Masons okay. built the churches. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the builders and the worshippers, lively stone, chief corner stone. These are the words I've been using. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is the their mark. Rejected. Hey, go on. It's so. Um, a lot of churches you'll find if they have a monument in the front and a lot of times they'll, they'll list the pastor and the deacons and the bishops on that monument and a lot of them will have at the bottom a Freemasonry M- uh, symbol with the with the compass ruler and compass on square. it yeah the square yeah. I mean oh, at the bottom wow. oh wow so the combination here is Japheth and Shem in a lock. Exactly. They lock up the master builder and the worshiper in the church. Mm. That, is a, that is a circus. And Elder, just as how we need the two stick of a Kobe to come together, the northern and the southern tribe, we also need the two stick of Shem and Japheth to come together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Sinini said it. He said, are you not like the Ethiopians to me? <laughs> you remember that verse, Brother Tanya? Yes, I remember it. Yes. He said, you people of um, Kobe, are you not like them Ethiopians unto me? <laughs> so Europe come in and divide Shem and Japheth separate them, tell them, get out. So the, the part, the, it is my steamer that was requesting that all the people must be killed. Kill them out, fight against each other. When you reduce your numbers, we will come and kill who, re- who left remaining. So Nini is good to us. Hallelujah. Yes. Good to us. Uh, uh, so, right. Yeah, the Google, um, the Google, um, Drive didn't pull the pictures in. Um, it's missing one. Yes, yeah, it's, mi- yeah, it's missing the words. Let me see if when if I escape, if it will come back. There is yes. another one. Let me see if it's on the other one. Mm, no, it's not showing up. Uh, let's see. May uh, you think I can share, Elder? Yeah, yeah, you can. You let can. me see if let I can. 
Emisi ben şey. Uh, you see share and then it's the um, you should see present yes don't share yes. slides share screen okay yeah I see it where it says share screen yes, oh there's someone in the chat had said okay someone in the chat had said Egypt in Shona means um Egypti Okay, they're still and, on the um, and someone said Masar in Somalia is Jifete in Isikoso. Uh oh, see, yep, it's the there. Are connected from dots did, there. Did uh, did something happen? No, yeah, just, we, uh, we can hear you. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I want to share. You're gonna see it. You gotta to click on the screen that you want to share. Top right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see it? No, we can't. Do you see the slides? No yet. No. Strange. Oh, let me uh would, let me try it again. Let, let me tell you, let me direct you. Um when you go to share screen, right? You're going to see two major places. If you share sound, bottom left, right? You hear me? Share sound, bottom left, and then go top right. Yes. Go to the top right and look to see which one of those screens is where okay. you got your, your slide. It will show you, and then you click it. And then you share. share. Okay. Let's see. Share. Okay, should be Sean. It's there, it's just not showing anything. Do you want to send me the file and I'll pull it oh, up? Let me see. Let me see. Right, we can see it. Yeah. We got it. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me go. Slide, slide mode. Okay. Okay, go on. Right. You want to click the lady? Okay, so the lady. we want. Let me scroll. Uh, Keep going. Here we go. Here. Yeah. So yeah, in this segment here, uh, just wanted to share. Uh, this is a Robertson Dickerson cousin. Black Indians or Black natives and freedmen. The African Methodist Episcopal Church and Indigenous Americans, 1816 through 1916. The author of this is Christina Dickerson cousin and the reviewer of this is Elena E. Roberts. It has a, a picture of a church there. So this is a, an example of Yafet dwelling in the tents of Shem, right? In the house of worship. Okay. Christina Dickerson cousins long awaited monograph length contribution to the field of black Indian history. We, we know what Indian mean. Dickerson Cousin argues that the African Methodist Episcopal Church played an important and previously unexplored role in proselytizing native people in Indian territory, part of the modern day state of Oklahoma, but also throughout the Northern United States, seeking to continue its founding principle of diversity and bringing and bring people of native and Afro native descent into its fold. This history is meaningful because many earlier exploitation, exploitations of Christian religion within the five Southern Southeastern slave owning tribes, the Cherokee, the Chickasaw, the Choctaw, 
Creek and Seminole nations have focused either on its part in the coerced assimilation of native people with white missionaries who encouraged the adoption of Euro-American agricultural practices, dress, and cultural norms, or on native people's syncretistic mixing spiritual and cultural traditions with Christians teaching with Christian teachings such as the experience of the Cherokee Kitoa band okay so um and so and so this is i'll oh, go ahead Elder. no no you go on i'll talk after you go on. i don't know i was just gonna say this is just a, a snippet or an, you know small example of how we like especially in the north in north america we have black churches all over north america right mm -hmm. but as our people were building churches and creating churches in the past a lot of natives came in to worship with the bantu mm -hmm. but not but all this without realizing that that who you know sham is you know are the majority of the black african americans and that a lot of and mostly the natives are your fat mm. and I'm, I'm reading here that the missionaries were kind of forcing them to to come together because they knew that if they do they will have them under bring them together as one in church so they're making they're making a new identity for to the church so that they don't retain the identity of Shem being enlarged in the earth and Japheth being that worshiper. So they've been forced into a, a relationship via the, the white missionaries to encourage the adoption of your right, so Asian right. Of, um, life. Right, it's anytime. A, it's, it's, it? Yes, yes, just like you said, just like you said earlier. This is this is the this is a prime example of your fat and Shem coming together, but the European coming in to put it under a lock. Yeah, yeah. With their Christian church. Yeah, the church is the lock. But and but it's, once they stay in church, right, the church will never know the identity the of the lock. But it's still that it does not prevent prophecy. Mm. Right. Yeah, they they they, they um they use the prophecy to, to bring about what they want. I see what you're saying here. They're using the prophecy that um, Genesis chapter 9, verse 27, that Sunini Nanini shall enlarge Japheth, right? So how they write it in the Bible, he shall enlarge, enlarge Japheth, but we didn't get it that he got all over building pyramids, that's his mark, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, meaning he will end up together with his brother, because his brother is going to want to worship. And Europe has built the church for his brother to worship. And he ended up in the same place with his brother, not realizing that he's his own brother. Right. <laughs> they kept the identity separate. So that today, the Native American is thinking that he's a Cherokee Indian. And that yeah. but the Bantu people, which is look exactly like you with the same nose and eye and, and lips and color and everything. He said, no, you you different to me. You're not, you're not the same family. But they're not going to do the DNA test because they're going to show that they're the same. How could the Cherokee and then be the same with the Bantu? It is because right. it is not out there. Dane Calloway, hear it. <laughs> yeah. Let's progress. Yeah. We, we are the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just, mm -hmm. This is just a picture I put up. Your fit was a large sham was scattered. <laughs> Oh, the red is Japheth stayed on the land. And Shem. Okay, the blue. Yeah, it's Shem there. Yeah, this this yeah, this is just a uh, this is just a random picture I, I chose. Okay. Just to just to give us a bigger picture of what happened with Yafet and Shem. Mm -hmm. Shem uh, uh, Yafet being enlarged. In the earth, right? And but Shem 
scattered in the earth with Sanini Nanini's word, spreading Sanini Nanini's word throughout the earth. You know, while you're talking, coming to me right now is the prodigal son that Nsindisi was teaching about. One went mm. abroad and one stayed at home. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna come later. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta control it now, though. Yeah. Yeah, so here, here we go. Tents in Africa. Yes. So we have tents in Africa, right? This the tents of Shem. Mm -hmm. Right? It doesn't and, and thing is it doesn't matter who built it, but now you know. Uh, concerning uh, the tents of Shem, because every church, every church that exists on this earth, without them <laughs> realize, realizing it, they're talking about us. Yep, they've captured the children <laughs> of Shem. Every they church got, got the children. All of the families of the earth. Yes. I, I see what you're saying. The tents of North America. And, and the conversation in the church is about the children of Shem. Yes. Abraham, Isaka, Akobi. They even claim they about are about people on the earth. Wow. <laughs> Elder, we're the most talked about people on earth. Wow. Every Sunday, every Saturday. In our book, that day. They they're, going there, they're talking about Abraham, Isaka, and Akobi. <laughs> we are important. Yes. Wow. And they have our scrolls. I think our scroll, our scrolls are still, even though it's been plagiarized, our scrolls are still the number one bestseller, right? Yep. Yep. They're still talking about us. They're still reading our scrolls. <laughs> we don't like you, but we'll be a read your story. We're gonna make your story our story. Wow. Uh elder. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so I used to hear this story growing up that you used to have like on stage performing, you'll have um a European performing. However, because they didn't have that gift really? of music, behind the curtain would be a Bantu that's actually singing while the world believed that it's this individual on stage that's performing mm -hmm. while it was a Bantu. It's the same thing with our scrolls on yeah. our world. It's there, it's ours, but it's just packaged as if it belongs to someone else. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so they package, they repackage our identity, they repackage yes. our scrolls, they repackage, they repackage our worship. Yes. They don't like us, but they really they they can't do without us. Is that what happened to them? They're yeah. trapped. They're trapped by their own actions. Like I always say, King James plagiarized a scroll, but what he wrote inside is his own judgment. They're trapped. Every Sunday they're talking about the Bantu. The, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and um, Jacob. Every Sunday they talk about it. They build buildings. To to what to trap him, but he had to turn around and singing about him. Hey. So Nini is good. So it's for us to wake up and realize this story. Yes. The whole thing is about us. Yep. So it's yep. about Japheth and Shem, and it's about the children of Akobi. They worship around the world, but we don't know that it's us. Hey, yeah. All it takes is just thing for us to wake up. That's about it. it yeah. Let's but, uh, if, uh, Noah, uh, Noah, Yafet, and Shem were shaped, they, they were worshiping the same Sunni Nanini. Of course. Oh, yes. Nimrod, did it Nimrod did it as, as well. You see? Yes. Yeah. So these are churches in Canada. You see some. These are some churches in Canada. Mm -hmm. You see. You see how. You see how. It's, you see how it's 
it's flipped, right? Pyramid. You see the pyramid? You see how it's itself. flipped. Yep. You see, you see how it's flipped now. Now, first we was talking about the pyramids, right? Being the earth. And now is we're on the other it's side where we have churches all over the earth. Yeah. Jay, right, Shem is, and your fat repackaged. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, here's Europe. They're talking about the God of Abraham. Is that this the is Europe. Europe. <laughs> yeah. And this, and they try to build these buildings yep. like like how they used to be. The columns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now these it's here like, are nice nice architecture in South America. Tents in Asia. Af this is an African Catholic community in of Japan. Japan. Yeah. They must be saying Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob too. <laughs> they must be saying Jacob. <laughs> they have to be saying Jacob. Oh, well. Yeah. Australia. Well. They're still doing Jacob over here too. Yeah. They're probably singing Father Abraham too. Yeah, we, look, even in our in Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> they built it over there as well. And so, Elder, what, what did Mercedes say? Uh, this this uh, good will, will go to the. <laughs> wow. This good spell will go to the four corners of the earth. Yeah. It literally yeah. has gone to the four corners of the earth. Yeah. The story of Japheth. The story of um, Shem through Abraham, Issachar, and Okobi. They must mention him in every space that they did. They're talking about our ancestors. Yeah. Someone do it on Sunday. Someone do it on Monday. Someone do it on wherever, Saturday. Wherever they're doing it, they're calling on the Father. They recognize. They just didn't know who. That right. That. Jesus, he said to the woman of the well, "You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the man too." No, they they they're gonna become angry at this now. Yeah, that's that was the last that's the last one. Well, this but, but yeah, that, this is great. This is so great. This is this is glorious. Wow. There has to be an, a part three later down the road, because um, like I said to you. I've been picking up some things on um, these places like Aswan, and um, I've been holding them there waiting because there's some depths that we need to go into. Right. You can, yeah. You can, you can see them here right now. Mm -hmm. See, this is Egypt, right? And this is America repeating the pyramids. See, all of these. This is Japheth's work. This is Japheth's carving. Yes. This is where he's done. Look, Mexico is the same person building all the pyramids around the world. And then this building here, we see him in, um, in Petra. And this is his Smithsonian and, and, and the pyramids. See? These are the ones there that we talk about. Anyhow, we can't go further tonight, but um, we, uh, yeah. we're going to prepare to, to repeat 
some of this, especially when we look into the obelisk and the location of where they were constructed. We get to see some more of the work of Watt, the master builder around the world, the children of Jaffet, building around the world and their cousins, the children of Shem, they are right here today. And I like the thought that um, they still, they talk about us every day. Every time they go to church, they're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Satan would be angry. So now he's being flushed out and they're coming out openly to worship Lucifer. Hallelujah. I want to thank you, Brother Nathaniel. Thank you, Sister Empress and the scribe group in general for all that they have done. This is a day of transformation for so many people. So we will use this to teach and for all that they have done. This is a day of transformation for so many people. Yeah, just close the mic. Yeah, um, this is a day when a lot of people will look back at this video and say, I didn't know that this happened. So these pyramids were built by the sons of Noah. That's their mark. And when they worship every Sunday, they call in on this, this man in the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is Bantu people's story that Europe is repeating. Hallelujah. I'm going to have to end the show at this point. I want to thank you again for coming. May the Mosai Sunini Nanini continue to watch over us. What a night. What a night. The revelation of Japheth, the master builder around the world, and he left something that cannot be removed, like the stone that fell in Grootfontein in Namibia, at Horba. So these pyramids are there, sitting as testimony to the work of Japheth, son of Noah, black and brown people around the world. And all them churches that they go around and build now to lock us up in, we're singing ourselves out of it. We're praising ourselves out of it as we wake up and realize that Sunini Nanini Samandla, the mighty one of Abraham, Isaka, and Akobi, is our ancestor. We thank the Father tonight. And thank you for coming. Okay, this is Black. Sorry about that. We'll be stepping back from the brink towards a more meaningful future. With our theme verse being, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So if your ancestors were scattered via the transatlantic slave trade or the Mohammedan Arabic Islamic slave trade, then you are the children of Almighty. So Nini Nanini Samandla, the mighty one of Abraham, Isaka, and the Kobe. Oh yes, black history. The study of the Bible is black history. And so you're welcome tonight. Welcome to the show. Welcome, share the link to everyone. And let somebody know tonight that you are connected to the show. We give him all the praise, we give him all the glory, we give him all the honor because he is due all the praise and all the honor. Oh yes, yeah, share the link and text a friend. And after the show, make sure you follow us on all the channels. It is on Telegram Live, it is YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and the recording is uploaded on Bantu. You are welcome tonight to the show. All praises to Almighty Sonini Nanini Samanda. We give him all the praise and all the glory. Waking up the from sea to sea. Waking up the